This is Mosquito Render Full Scene Motion Blur. In this video, we will discuss how Mosquito Render handles motion blur. We have this desk with some objects scattered around. We have one light source, one camera, and this is a low light situation. So now let's zoom into our uh, object we are interested in, and that this it's this Newton's cradle. We have these glass spheres, so they are bumping each other, and that's what we want to see and explore. Let's bring up Active Shade, and as you can see, we get instant feedback, and we already see a nice motion blur instantly. Now let's move a little bit closer with the camera, so we can see our object we are interested in, in a bigger scale. Keep in mind this is a low light situation and Mosquito Render actually behaves like a real camera. If you would take for example a picture of such a scene with a real camera, you would see the same blur, the same effects as you see them right now in this scene. The physical camera of Mosquito Render uses real world parameters like shutter speed, f-stop and the uh, film sensitivity. As you can see, we have already a really nice motion blur. Now let's switch off the motion blur. You see in the shadow and in the object there's no motion blur. Switch it on. We see it nice in the shadow. And all the reflections, refractions and shadows, they behave exactly as they should. Now let's increase the shutter speed a little bit. So we, we're going to a 60th of a second and that reduces naturally our motion blur. Like in a real-world camera, the faster you shoot, the less motion blur you have. Now let's go to 120th. Let's increase the film sensitivity as well, so that we get our brightness back, and you can see nearly no motion blur left at all in this picture. Now let's go the opposite extreme. Let's go to a fifth of a second. And we get a much, much stronger motion blur right now. And it still stays interactive. Regardless how strong your motion blur is, you can still go to the frame slider, move it, evaluate your scene, move around in the scene. This is the beauty of Mosquito Render and GPU rendering. Let's move back out a little bit. And as you have seen, it stays fully interactive with everything, light shadows, global illumination, area shadows, reflections, refractions, that's all supported by Mosquito Render. Now let's move to a different scene and explore what we can do with different effects of motion blur. In the next scene we want to try something new, motion blur with long time exposure. We have this car running down the road with headlights turned on and we want to create an effect where we see the light trails like we see here in this real photograph. In this picture a long time exposure reveals the light streaks of a car passing by. First we are going to render the scene without motion blur and let's have a look how we did the setup. As you can see two self-illuminated objects they are attached to the car so they travel along. Now let's turn on the motion blur. And the first thing we see is a real beauty. We see exactly these light trails like we saw it in the picture before. We get the light trails. And this is because Mosquito Render renders and handles light exactly like in the real world. That's why we get these kind of natural looking effects. And our physical camera captures these kind of light effects with motion blur. OK, let's bump up the exposure time a little bit more. Let's go to one second exposure. First thing we see, we get a brighter picture, so we have to adjust our aperture to get back to our low light situation. And now you see the beautiful long light trails. And they look exactly what we saw in the picture before. This really shows how Mosquito Render handles light in a completely natural way, like it is happening in the real world. 
Mosquito Render is one of the few renderers that uses spectral-based rendering. That means colors are treated as electromagnetic wavelengths. There's a huge difference and there's not many renderers out there, especially GPU renderers that can do this. Thank you so much for watching this video and check out our other videos as well.